multi-container apps. Up to this point, we have been working with single container apps, but we now want to add MySQL to the application stack. The following question often arises. Where will MySQL run? Install it in the same container or run it separately? In general, each container should do one thing and do it well. A few reasons. We have, there is a good chance you'd have to scale APIs and front-end differently than databases. Separate containers let you version and update versions in isolation. While you may use a container for the database locally, you may want to use a managed service for the database in production. You don't want to ship your database engine with your app then. Running multiple processes will require a process manager. The container only starts one process, which adds complexity to container startup shutdown. And there are more reasons. So we will update our application to work like this. We have this to uh, rectangles here, the to-do app connected to the other rectangle, the, that is the database, MySQL. Container networking. Remember that containers by default run in isolation and don't know anything about other processes or containers on the same machine. So how do we allow one container to talk to another? The answer is networking. Now, you don't have to be a network engineer, simply remember this rule. If two containers are on the same network, they can talk to each other. If they aren't, they can't. Start my SQL. There are two ways to put a container on a network. One, assign it at a star, or two, connect an existing container. For now, we will create a network first and attach MySQL container at a startup. So one, create the network. So we go to our, our VS code. We go to the folder getting started. We go to the app, so we press, we type in CD space app. We clean it up, CLS and create a network so it's gonna be docker space network space create space to do up okay and then we press enter okay two start a my sql container and attach it to the network we are also going to define a few environment variables that the database will use to initialize the database see environment variables section and the mysql docker hub listing so you can go to this link uh, if you want more information about it hub.docker.com slash uh, underscore slash mysql so right now we go we copy this we go to our vs code we paste it and we have dagger space run space hyphen d space backslash and the next line double hyphen network space to do hyphen up space double hyphen network space alias space mysql space backslash next line hyphen v space to do hyphen mysql hyphen data column slash var slash leave slash mysql space backslash next line hyphen e space um, uppercase letters mysql underscore root underscore password equal sign secret space backslash next line hyphen if space mysql underscore database equal sign to do space backslash mysql 8.0 so 
um, if you're using a Windows then use this command in PowerShell so um, we can do it again here I'm using a Windows so I, I already let me see okay well it failed because it was not for Windows but right now we're using the one that is for Windows unable to find the image MySQL locally so yeah right now is is looking for is creating it so if you're using Windows then use this command in PowerShell so that's what I did I am Docker and I, um, the command that I used was PowerShell so again it was Docker space run space hyphen D space but this time backticks and then double hyphen network to do up space double hyphen network hyphen alias mysql and the difference here is that you you're using backticks so that just okay we're we're finished here all right so you also see we specify the double hyphen network hyphen alias flag we'll come back to that in just a moment tip you'll notice we're using a volume name to do hyphen mysql hyphen data here and mounting it on and mounting it at slash bar slash lib slash mysql which is where mysql stores its data however we never run a dagger volume create command Docker recognizes we want to use a name value and creates one manually for us. So, if we go to our to our Docker, oh, it's, no, it was not a status. Then main is MySQL. Okay, I saw it here. MySQL right here. Okay, three to confirm. 